Norway. I've been very heartened already by the strength of the support that the UK is getting in respect of the uh, incident in Salisbury. And I must say, I think that is partly because they can see that Britain is acting in punctilious accordance with our obligations under the uh, Treaty on Chemical Weapons. And I, I would uh, contrast that with how the Russians are, are behaving. Today, the uh, technical experts from the Organisation for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons are arriving in the UK uh, to take uh, the samples uh, from Salisbury. And uh, meantime, the uh, Russian denials grow increasingly absurd. Uh, at one time they say that uh, they never made Novichok, at another time they say they, they did made no make Novichok, but all the stocks have been destroyed. And then again, uh, they, they say uh, that they made Novichok and all the stocks have been destroyed, but some of them have mysteriously escaped to uh, Sweden or uh, the Republic of Slovakia or the United States or even America. And I think what people can say, or the United Kingdom, uh, I think what people can, can see is that this is a classic Russian strategy of trying to conceal the needle of truth in a, a, a hasty lies and obfuscation. And what really strikes me talking to you is that 12 years after the assassination of Alexander Litvinenko in London, they're not fooling anybody anymore. There is scarcely a country round the table uh, here, here in Brussels that has not been affected in recent years by some kind of malign or disruptive Russian uh, behaviour. And that is why I think uh, the strength and uh, the resolve of our European friends is so, so striking today. Thank you.